please do click on the bell icon so that you never miss any update. Hello and welcome back. This video is on a special demand regarding the manual pressure pump which I used in my previous videos. I have been questioned many a times that where can I get this product and how to use it. So I thought I would like to share the details regarding the same. And also I would like to do a quick comparison between some similar products. Let's get started. The frequently asked question is where can I get this product. I tried finding it in local stores but I was unable to find it. I ordered it from Amazon at 200 rupees way back in October 2016. But now the price has been increased by 96 rupees and which I feel is little bit expensive as of now. There are other similar products available in market at same cost and some of them offer 0.5 litre more as compared to the 1 litre bottle which I bought. Make sure to read the reviews before purchasing it. Talking about how to use it is very easy. So first let me open it and show you what's inside. As you can see the central cylindrical tube is the part from where the air is pumped into the bottle. So when the pressure is built up into the bottle, the water raises up through the straw and out through the nozzle. Now let me show you how to extract the maximum pressure out of the bottle. As you can see there are certain markings over the bottle which indicates the water level in milliliters. So if you fill it up to 50%, the rest 50 will be filled by air. If you fill it up to 75%, the remaining 25 will be filled by air. And last is a 1 litre mark which leaves a very little space for the air. So the more you fill the water, the lesser will be the space for the air. So it's recommended to fill water up till 50 to 75% mark as there will be a balance between air and water and that will give you the best pressure. If you try to pump deep, it will take a lot of time to build up pressure. Short pumpings like this will fill air more quickly. Adjusting the nozzle is the second way of creating pressure. Turning the nozzle anti-clockwise will reduce the pressure and will just sprinkle water. Turning it clockwise direction will increase the pressure. The nozzle cap plays an important role because if it's not in its place then the water will come out from both the direction. So make sure you don't lose it. This is a similar kind of product which I brought from a local street seller. It has a similar nozzle, a straw and a hole from where air is pumped inside. The lever or the button is situated on the top. And the best thing about this is that it can be attached to any bottle having the same diameter. But is it really good as the one which I bought? Let's go for a quick compare. This is a 750ml bottle which I have attached and I can hold it in single hand. But if you attach a bigger bottle, it will be difficult to hold it. Small bottles are not that heavy, so while cleaning your bike, you can hold brush in one hand rather than a bigger bottle. The lever on both are good, but the one on the right is slightly bigger and also the position is very good. Also the base of the bottle is bigger and the bottle is made up of tough material. Both these sprays work really well, but if you ask me, I would recommend you this because it's very handy, tough and available online on Amazon. But if you are able to find out something like this, you can buy that also as it's a lot cheaper. So I'll leave the choice to you. Give a thumbs up if you like my video. Thanks for watching.